Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. We're back with Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition and our playthrough on Insanity Difficulty, playing as a Vanguard. And last time we went to Sir Kesh and we got the uh, sort of last remaining female Krogan that uh, I believe is free from the Genophage. And we got her out of there and uh, she's now aboard the Normandy. And um, that means that we are going to have to deal with the Genophage at some point and we are we're going to talk to Rex over here and see what he has to say about all of that. And we're also going to talk to Victus and see what he has to say, because they both wanted to talk to me separately. Uh, they don't seem to trust each other just yet. And um, yeah, that is basically what we're going to start this episode off with. We're also going to go talk to the Krogan, the female Krogan, and I guess that Morden is on the ship right now at least, so probably have a bit of a chat with him. But for the rest of the episode, I think that I'm do want to go around the galaxy and scan the systems that we can. We have a few of them open already. Uh, I think it's just a good thing to get that done now, so we don't have a monumentous task to do later, because we are going to open up more uh, galaxy clusters. Or well, not galaxy clusters. Is it galaxy clusters? No, not galaxy clusters. Um, star system clusters, or whatever you want to say. So, um, yeah, I want to start doing some of that. Uh, shouldn't be too long. Uh, probably we are also going to go back to the Citadel, because we can go back to the uh, Huerta Memorial uh, Hospital and talk to both Caden and Thane. So that is sort of the plan in this episode. We shall see how long it becomes. I mean, we know that scanning in this uh, game it doesn't take as much time as it does in Mass 2, so presumably it's not going to be that long of a video. We shall see. So, let's uh, start with, uh, with Primarch Victus and see what he has to say to me. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. That was a bit of a long pause right there, but okay. So, uh, we can talk more. I think we, we've we asked a few things. I mean, we've asked about these things already, I guess. So, yeah, let's uh, shout a little bit more about this Turian ship. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Well, things just got a little bit more spicy, didn't they? All right, you got your son there, and uh, yeah, if we cure the other fish, what then? The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. Uh-huh. And yeah, the Krogan would be a fairly unusual ally, I suppose. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. Well, that's just swell. And I gotta say, for someone who didn't really feel like he would suit this job, I think he's doing a pretty damn good job. So good on you, Victus. That's all. Of course, Commander. And also, by the way, I did get a message, uh, uh, I believe in the end of the last episode or something like that. I 
I'm gonna get my scars back. You can already see it a little bit on my face if we try to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, since I didn't get the corrective surgery, the scars are gonna come back. I really hope that my red eyes come back as well, because I do enjoy my red eyes. So, Rex, what do you want to talk about? I guess you really need this alliance, Shepard. You're willing to die for Krogan you already tried to exterminate. We're both getting what we want. We better. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Tough to say right now. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but... Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Well, that's an interesting mission, yes. Uh, don't particularly like it, but uh, it's fun. So, yeah, what's your take on... Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's start with the Rachni. What do you have more for me here? How could there be trouble with the Rachni? I watched the Queen die. They can't be back. I know. I was there. I don't get it either. But our scouts found something. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. I concur. I don't want the Rachni around. Even if uh, some people might say that, oh, they're so sentient and oh, so cuddly. But no, 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 no. We don't want them around at all. So, so, what about the female Krogan? Are you, uh, you interested? Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. Well, sounds like, uh, <laughs> sounds like every female everywhere. No, that's a bit of a joke. So, can you give me some more information about Tichanka, possibly? What's the situation back on Tichanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take to Chunka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. I think that you're correct. Sort of. So after the cure, if if you know it gets cured, what's uh, what's going to happen? What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. Well, that's cool. Well, I mean, yeah, revenge would be nice and all. If somebody did that to humanity, I'd want some payback. I guess that's why you wiped Malin's work. You figured I'd feel the same way. Well, I don't. The Council would just invent some new way to put us down. It could be even worse than the genophage. My people aren't going through that again. Well, I'm glad to hear it. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. All right, then. And while Rex has uh, good intentions, uh, yeah, maybe not the other Krogans necessarily. Right, let's get on to Medbay, because I do believe that that is uh, definitely where the um, female Krogan is, but I think that Morden might be there as well. Oh. Well, thank you for that. I probably already had it, but sure, good to know. So, let's uh, head down to Medbay. Or, well, okay, medical lab, fine. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Well, you mean, I mean, being a little bit suspicious is always healthy. Considering everything the Solarians have done to the Krogan, can you blame him? 
Yes. Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue samples. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. A word when you have a moment, Shepard. Absolutely. I don't know if she's on the... Maybe no, she, were, she was on the no, bed no, already, yes. Our catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. Uh -huh. What yeah, are you talking about? To extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. <coughs> and you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive. We'll avoid sensitive subjects. Well, there you go. Lovely little exchange there between the two. So, Morden. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Currently stable, but lack of Malin's research data, problematic. There's nothing we can do about that now. No. I hate to ask this, but will it affect the cure? No, cure will remain viable, but Eve's long-term prognosis, doubtful. Do what you can for her. Of course. All right, let's uh, have a bit of a chat now. So, 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 what about the data? We might be regretful about that, possibly, I don't know. Wishing we'd save the data? Pointless to consider. Correct decision at the time. Even if it would have helped now? Recrimination's useless. Data lost. Have to deal with consequences. Would like more data, yes. Would make it easier to save Eve, but destroyed it. Tainted source. Too dangerous, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I do like him more than he's very pragmatic. It was the right choice at the time. Could possibly have been uh, better if we had the data right now. So let's talk a bit about the Krogan immunity. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. There we go. Now, does anyone else but me would like to see a Krogan baby at some point? I bet they are very, very cute. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. Yeah, there you go, yeah. A comfy blanket. We'll see what we can do. So, Morden, are you going to be able to do this? You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. And there we go. Cool. The that is it, yes. <laughs> nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> I like Morden. He's fun. Um, right, let's have a bit of a shot with Eve as well, if we can. I wanted to thank you for saving my life, Commander. <coughs> Even if it was to serve your own ambitions. Krogan have always put their ambitions first. I would think you'd respect that. Perhaps. But how well has that arrogance worked for us? I brought you all the way here, and I still don't know your real name. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. Uh -huh, that's interesting. So yeah, let's uh, let's have a bit of a chat about Rex here. Well, actually, you know what? No, let's uh, pick up on that immediately. A female shaman, you say? I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. 
Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. I gotta say, I do enjoy her clothing. It's very, very cool. So yeah, what do you think about Rex? What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us, though not all the other clans see it that way. Uh-huh, so do you think he would go for revenge after all of this is done? Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. And there we go. There's the crux of the problem, isn't it? So, um, was that... that? No, it wasn't right. Let's talk about the genophage. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. Okay, well, what about after the genophages cure them? What then? How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, what do you uh, reckon out of Malin's experiments? What do you think about them? How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Uh-huh. So I did see what Malin did, however. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. So, about the other females, they are sadly dead. And I think... I think that that is the effect of the choice of Malan's data. I think that if you don't destroy the data, they might actually live. I always thought that it was actually Eve. That, uh, th that would be dead if we destroyed the data, but no, it was probably just them. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, let's uh, finally talk about Morden's solace. What do you, do you think that he will actually be able to do this? How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry for your offspring have an allergy to dairy and a Well, it wasn't his ear. I mean, was that a thing that he needed to do? <laughs> that was just a bit weird. Um, right, I think that's about it. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. Well, I mean, 
I sort of have the responsibility of the entire galaxy, but sure, whatever. Well, it's not really my responsibility, responsibility, I suppose, but still. Right, it's time to go out into the galaxy and have a bit of a scan around. And see if we can find some more war assets and uh, hopefully a bit of money. I would not like. Uh, I would like to go to the Citadel with some cash. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have the uh, this the, 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 the Presidium Commons. I don't know if we're gonna have that open now or if that is later. But if nothing else, I would like to get the shotgun that I want, and I don't think I have the money for that just yet. So possibly some money can be found, we shall see. So let's uh, go out into the galaxy and have a bit of a poke around. Check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Aha, uh -huh, so again, more stuff just happening. What now then? Commander, sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields, months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. Oh, that's bad. You were talking with him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Well, you know what? Yes, let it go. I'm sorry for your loss, but you can't let it get to you. I did move on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. Well, I mean, in some ways we're all alone somehow. We all die alone. In the end, you're defined by what you've done. Yeah, you're right. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? You can handle it. Cool. A little bit of a shout with him, I suppose. By the way, can we do anything about the dog? Hello, dog. Can we can we poke you? No, we can't poke you. It's just going around scanning things. Perfect. Right. I don't think I now that I'm here. I don't think that there's anything specifically I want to do. I don't want to spend money on upgrading these things right now. That is not interesting. And obviously, I don't want to. I mean, I can buy things from the Spectre Requisitions, sure, but uh, there's no point, really. But we can have a bit of a look. Okay. You know what I might actually have the uh, money for this? Well, lovely. So basically, the choice is either the Wraith or the... Uh, is it Eviscerator? That is the other one. I want to say there's a Claymore, but I don't have the Claymore here. Uh, hmm. I don't exactly know, but it actually does look like we can get the Wraith, and I'm happy about that. Uh, by the way, yes, haven't we got a new stuff here? We did get the Armax Arsenal, so what is that? Less health. Uh, weapon and headshot, yes, let's take that. Have we gotten any for the legs? Yes, we have some ammo capacity, but less health. And also, Hanikadar, which is, uh, what is that then? More weapon damage, obviously, yes. <laughs> there we go. Some upgrades for my armor that I had picked up as well. Right, now can I go out in the galaxy and have a bit of a poke around? Anyone else want to talk? Good, let's go. Commander, you have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Well, of course, bloody hell, it's... Everybody needs to talk to me today. Okay, Miranda, what the hell? 
Um, rather lost on, well, okay, more reasons to go to the Citadel, I suppose. Uh, heard about your stay with the Lions, I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk, it's safer in person. Alright, fine. Um, also from someone called Ferron. It's been a while, I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Your know, overall ship was the best thing we could have done. I can't uh, tell you how sick I was in that cabin. I'm not tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after it turned off its track. And, oh right, it was you that we were trying to save. I got some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps. It's getting rough out there. Well, that's interesting, yes. And from Kirahi, uh, Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sir Kesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. Since Fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats, so be it. To that end, I want to reiterate that SDG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in an hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Awesome. Cool. Uh, all right. Yeah, more uh, reasons to go to the Citadel, I suppose. But uh, for now, let's head out into the galaxy. And my thought is that we'll basically uh, start over here. Seeger's Cradle. There's a Cerberus lab here. We won't be doing that. Okay, fine. Let's do the stuff that doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> let's go to the Shrike, Shrike Abyssal. Sh Shrike or Shrike? Shrike or Shrike Abyssal. Let's go there first. And in here, actually the Reaper alertness is already half, that's good. Uh, let's start uh, scanning a little bit, see what we can I find. Yeah, we find something here, Reaper are coming in a little bit. Uh, let's scan here. Is it here? Yeah. What do we find? We find... what? Something! Yeah, there we go, 10,000 credits. That's very nice, yeah, you can indeed get credits in here. That's 50. There's one more thing. Is it here? It is here. Cool. Uh, the Reapers are coming. Uh, let's get the let's get the fuel. And then just go. Go, 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 go. They do speed up after a while, so you don't want to stick around. And two in that system means that uh, with 50 in total, it's going to be two in here as well. Uh, normally, you go for the planets first. That's just a Signal good confirmed. thing to do. Yeah, there are some Reapers coming in hot. So what do we find here? Let's just go over here. There we go. Wouldn't mind more money. But also other stuff, I suppose. No money on this occasion. But we get the Perlian Obelisk. Right, that is the thing that we were actually looking for. Uh, the Reapers are coming. Let's see if I can do this before they... No, no. Okay, where? Faster than light jump successful. Oh, it, it is 50. Can I go in here immediately, or are they just gonna spawn? Or they're just gonna spawn, spawn, aren't they? Okay, well, if I Evasion if successful. I do this, oh no, 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 not like that. Then I spawn over here, right? I can try and find the thing. Oh crap, crap! Oh, there it is. Okay, it's up there. Yeah, see, th this uh, this whole system is just so weird. <laughs> Uh, because now I can go here. Ooh, ooh, can I make it? Oh, this is gonna be tricky, I think, to get out, because they do move a little bit while you're sort of Faster going into into those things. But we've done it. Shrike Abyssal, 100% completed. Cool. Let's go over here. But they... Oh, crap. This is quite bad. Um, let's not enter system from here. Let's enter system from here. Oh, there we go. Plot mass re jump, and we're gonna go to Minos Wasteland. Let's go over here. And this is a smaller one. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we found two things, or that everything. Would be nice if it is. There's no other system in this cluster, it's just this one. At least for now. Might open up more later on. More credits! Awesome. 10,000 credits for me. That is indeed 50%. Perfect. This is just gonna be some more fuel it is well that's fair enough no fuel depot here so that's actually kind of good so done that one uh missing why is why do i get the, the name of this one rather what why do we get the investigate missing scouts here but i don't get this one that's a bit weird uh we have some stuff down here you know what actually let's just go up here and in here, yeah, we have to go to the next system over to actually find uh, that thing. 
Start here. We have something here. No Reapers for now, I think. That is what that said. Uh, over here. Yeah, the scanning is a bit more interesting now when you actually find actual things. Javelin missile launchers. Cool. Okay, some Reapers. That's 50, so only one more. That's a scab. Oh, crap. We're gonna have Reapers everywhere, aren't we? Uh, did I scan this one, actually? No, I didn't, so, so to speak. Okay, ooh, I think we just made it. <laughs> we just made it uh, without Reapers. Yeah, we did. Cool. Uh, so that's 50 here. So again, uh, two, two things in this. I really don't like the large system. These smaller systems, very, very good. <laughs> These are very, very good. Um, but the larger systems, they are a hassle because... Uh, as you already noticed, some of the things that you need to find, they are just in sort of dark space. Uh, ooh, more credits, yes. Uh, they're just in dark space, like this one, so there's no no way whatsoever to actually know where they are, which is a bit annoying. Uh, there's some fuel for me. We're not going to do uh, that one right now, so let's just head back over to the mass relay. And get in here. No Reapers, cool. So, that's done. Let's actually... Yeah, I'm just gonna go around and do all of these. Why not? I mean, there are uh, some minor things that we can do. We'll save that for a different episode. But, uh, yeah, we can just uh, deal with the entirety of the cluster that we can. And then come back for that later. And in here, that is a listening post. What do we do with listening posts? Uh, apparently nothing, <laughs> but it's there. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Presumably we're going to find stuff in here as well. So it's going to be Reapers. Oh, they are they are hungry. Is it a mass release up there? I haven't found anything. Am I supposed to find things in here? So Reapers are here, and I haven't found a single thing. All right, and yeah, this is the problem with some of these systems that uh, you don't always know that there are going to be things. Because the game doesn't tell you. <laughs> it's a bit annoying. Uh, let's go over here, start over here. Yes, this is going to be a cluster where there aren't anything. Okay, I mean, I can go... I, I don't think there's any reason to go into orbit anywhere. No, nope, there's absolutely no reason. So this whole system, or cluster, there's absolutely nothing here. So I guess that that is somehow related to the fact that... Uh, that we did get the flag. Could that be a thing? Like, we have the flag here. Does that mean that that is a system that doesn't have anything? Potentially. Let's head over to Hades Gamma. I do like that it is so much faster than Mass Effect 2. Man, this would have been... I would have been like 40 minutes in already. <laughs> uh, right, let's see how many things we have in this system. We have something here. Right. Could it be more credits? I would not mind more credits. It is more credits! 10,000. Am I up to... Is it 40,000 credits now already? Um, so that is one out of two. Thing here, no, we're gonna have Reapers in just a second. Let's try and find the other. Yeah, we go, that is probably gonna be more fuel. Let's just grab that and we are done in here. Mass relay is up top. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. That's fine. Plutus, please don't be large. Good, not so much. Uh, let's just do a ping here. No, let's do a ping here. Ooh, and there's a lot. Wow, they were fast on this occasion. Uh, element zero planet. Yeah, it does look element zero -y. Uh Keep going. I wouldn't mind some war assets as well, but you know, uh, money is fine as well. Special Ops team said I did find some war assets. Two, in fact. That one and the 103rd Marine Division. Um, right, this is going to be interesting. We have no Reapers here, though. So, oh, we, we absolutely do have a Reaper here. <laughs> Uh, let's enter from the top. See if we can't find something. Oh, no, oh, wait, it's 100%. Never mind. Uh, we are done with that. Ooh, this... 
this. <laughs> this is what I actually said. Uh, fuel is actually a bit of an issue. Uh, wouldn't mind finding a fuel little cashy here. Would be nice. Oh, there's so many reapers. <laughs> Uh, we have fuel here, I believe. Cool. Uh, 200 only, but that's good. So the final one is the planet over there. Reapers so we're just gonna go out and come back in. Ooh, this might be bad. This might be bad, but I think we can get out. As long as we're just chilling in here, they can't do anything. It's only when we exit the planet that there's gonna be a problem. So what we find here, well, we get that one, and we get an even more money. See, so a fair bit of credits from just scanning things. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Cool. Faster than light, <laughs> um, fuel should be good. Let's go over to Farinata over here. But it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight. At least we don't spend fuel inside the systems. Uh, let's do a scan over here. Yeah, ooh. Could that be more fuel? I really hope it does. Yes, it is. 200 more fuel. Uh, that's 50. Let's do, oh, it was, it was here, but there also are uh, reapers here. <laughs> A little bit too close for comfort. Okay. Am I gonna get even more credits? No, Elias Frigate A Agging Court has apparently been hiding out here. And Elias First Fleet. Not sixth fleet, but uh, first fleet. Cool. So getting Evasion those successful. down to the final one. Seventy-seven percent should mean that there are two in here. I do believe, and of course it's a larger system. Don't like that. Already said I don't like that. And the reapers are already here. I've only found one thing. That is a okay. Yeah, as I said uh, before as well, even if you get caught by your, the Reapers, the only thing that happens is that we just reload at the start of the system, we can just go again. It is a bit strange, this whole system, but uh, Reapers whatever. Eluded. So let's just come in from the bottom. Scanny, scanny, scanny. Try and... There, uh, where is the th final thing? It's not here. Faster than light, jump successful. Let's try from over here. But, oh, there's going to be something right here. Uh, where on earth? Okay. Evasion successful. Let's go from here then. Do we have to go up again? Because it's not finding anything here. Reapers hmm. looted. Yeah, as I said. Oh no, no, I don't want to go there. Faster than light, jump successful. As I said previously, uh, they could just be out in black space. There's no way to actually find it. Especially when we have systems such as this one, where it's kind of large. Makes it just very, very difficult. Could it be the sun? Something is the sun. Uh, no, no, not the sun on this occasion. Where is it? Oh, bloody hell. It's not this planet. I've already scanned that like several times now. Not that one. Let's focus on the... Asteroid belt here. Ooh, very fast. Faster than light, <laughs> jump successful. We're also losing a bit of fuel all the time while sort of adjusting us. Ooh, there we go. There it is. Uh, cool. Evasion so let's hope that I don't get one spawning. God damn it. Are you always gonna spawn right there? Yes, you are. But I think I, if I'm a bit fast here, we should be good. 400 units of fuel. Go, 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 go. Ooh, very close. And that is 100%. Awesome. And uh, it is from this direction, I believe, that we are getting here. Yep, cool. That was a bigger one. Let's go over to Gemini Sigma as well. And we have at least one more. Probably one. Let's see if yeah, we found something here. I think that there's there aren't that many systems that have more than two things. It's generally one or two. And I think there are a couple of systems that might have more. Uh, but for the most part, it is indeed two things. So let's have a bit of a poke around here. The Reapers are here. This is a smaller system. How? There we go. That There it is. Oh, I'm actually going to leave. <laughs> that felt a little bit, a little bit close for my liking. 
So let's uh, get the fuel, the inevitable fuel. That is actually, oh, not even a top up. Cool. Um, I did need it though, because it's a long way to get to this other place. Right, into Ming Tiny System, thank you. So let's hope I'm scanning over here. That is a good one. I will say, if in case you doubted that, I have no memory of like exactly where to scan. So uh, it's, not, it's not, not not like I know where to go. Obviously, that is obvious. I think Nairobi cru Alliance Cruiser as well as Alliance Third Fleet. So we have First Fleet and Third Fleet. Uh, let's have a bit of a scan here. There we go. Most likely more fuel. I don't know. Is there anything that you find in a way such as that that isn't fuel? I don't know, actually. Uh, it sort of feels like there is. Well, I have a very, very vague memory that says that it should be something else as well, but for the most part, it's going to be fuel. Reapers eluded. Right. Uh, kite's nest, then. Let's go there. Slightly larger system to begin with, of course. Let's scan that planet. No, nothing there. I found oh, something. There we go. Hopefully both of the things immediately. Jupiter looking planets here. Okay, there we go. I'm happy that the game uh, puts these fairly close by. A weapon upgrade kit. Well, that's fancy, finding stuff like that. Here we go. This is a system that actually has more than two items. So we get some fuel over here, and there's one more thing. It is on this planet. But yeah, we are. We have apparently, I, I guess we are going to have two upgrades then. Because the thing that we got from Faron, that might be an upgrade as well. So before we do another mission, we are going to be talking to Glyph, obviously. Ooh, the Pillars of Strength. That is a Citadel mission. Don't know if... No, actually, I did not. I ha hadn't picked that up because uh, that was the little card that uh, showed me that I got the mission as well. So presumably we missed someone. Either we missed someone or we just hadn't up um, unlocked that part of the Citadel just yet. Could be that. Uh, there's going to be two things in here. Oh, 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 I find them immediately. Awesome. So that's the tiny, tiny, tiny amount of fuel. Let's get over here. It's going rather well, isn't it? Haven't been caught by the Reapers once yet. Uh, we are going to get caught at least once at some point. Uh, but more credits. Where I, I must I must be, I must be swimming in credits right now. Very nice. Yeah, kite's nest. Actually, nice and simple. Nice and simple. Has some intel. I'm going to be. It's going to be quite interesting to see what we got from there. So let's just go. That is a the student one. But on this occasion, it's not one of these. So I'm thinking that we might be able to scan things in here. Well, it's only the one system. What do we think? We can also, we, we can also tell by the fact that there are no Reapers whatsoever. So that is a, a dead giveaway that no, we're not going to be finding anything in here. So we can just leave. So that means we did. Yeah, we have done these. Let's go to Exodus Cluster and see if we can scan in here. Now this is the... Uh, the, the Protein Artifact mission. Yes, the DLC one. So again... Yep, no Reaper, uh, no Reaper investigation. But there actually, okay, so there is something. Okay, fine. But no Reapers. Well, actually, it, it did, it, it did not have uh, the Reaper, uh, the Reaper little minifigure, if you would, uh, hovering over. So sure, probably in data files. Uh huh. So there are more things. So on this occasion, we can actually scan in peace. Lovely. Let's just uh, zoom around here. Presumably some fuel at some point, possibly, maybe. There we go. Oh, th thought I already. Oh, yeah, that's Eden Prime. We've already been there in the past. Now we're gonna go back, which is just lovely. But we also can go to Asgard. I don't know that. Rather, I didn't know that the uh, the Asgardians were in here. I actually didn't know there was uh, this uh, part of the world or galaxy that had the Asgardians, but apparently there was. Uh, Signal oh, confirmed. there we go. Two immediately. Reapers here, however. For some reason, there are Reapers here, but not in the first system. That's that's a bit weird. But sure. 
Um, remains of a Reaper Destroyer as an intel. Ooh, what do we get from that? And, ooh, did that say 20%? Well, that's fascinating. Uh, that means that there's going to be five things in the system. That is a, a little bit unusual. And Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla. Yeah, that is says, uh, that says 40 now. Oh, I have three more things. Uh, so we have something on this planet. I do like planets. Planets are good. Planets uh, contain valuable things. So that's the Alliance Cruiser Shanghai. They've been hiding out in various places, haven't they? Okay, we have still, still two things. There's a planet down here. Oh, crap. Evasion successful. Hello, Mr. Reaper Man. Uh... Is he always going to spawn there? Because if he does, that's extremely annoying. Okay, I would like to be able to come in exactly right here. So sort of here. Yeah, there we go. Go in! Oh, we are going to be caught, I think. Loki! Let's see what Loki contains. Can I get out of this? If I can, I'd be happy. Alliance Specs Ops Team Data. Let's see... Go, 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 go. Okay. I did get out. Cool. Uh, we still have one more thing to uncover, however. Okay. Nothing here. So let's go from the top. Yeah, I think they actually always spawn in the same spot, don't they? But, okay. This is a tiny system. How am I missing whatever it is that I'm missing? How is that possible? How am I missing thing? Missing mi missing thing. Well, it is a thing that I am missing, so... True. They're, oh, right. Of course it's bloody hell. Of course it's right by those two. Uh, go, go, go. Investigate. Can you press a button to do that instead? Oh, go, go, go. Got out. At least the game is a little bit uh, nice to you as well, and you don't get caught immediately. That's also kind of nice. I would like to go somewhere where there is a uh, where there is a fuel depot, if I could. I mean, we can just go to the Citadel, I suppose, but still. Right, we'll, we'll keep going. We have the horse at Nebula. We'll see if we can do that one as well. And would you know, there's a fuel depot. Awesome! How much money do I have? I had about uh, 82. Now I have 158. Lovely. So seven. Seven one of those... Uh, uh, credit once. Awesome. Now, are there things in here? So this is just a system for some fuel depot wing. Which is fine, but uh, okay, fine. There's absolutely nothing here. Uh, so we've done that. We have Anos Basin. Let's go there too. And in here, also a one system, system so to speak, or cluster. I would, oh, that, ah, right, Sir Kesh, never mind. That's, that's, the, that's Sir Kesh. We've already been here. Let's, uh, let's not be here anymore. Uh, does that mean that I've done them all? I think I have. So, 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 let's uh, head over to the Citadel and have a bit of a chat with people as the final thing for this uh, episode. Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Ooh, uh, we can do that uh, immediately. Yes, we are going to the hospital, so let's just head there immediately. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. And here we are. Okay. Some people are. Ooh, here we go. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half, and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the BI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know he's dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man... Okay, so they're just going to repeat that. Okay, I mean, I don't know what the hell is going on here, so... Uh, I'll just support the receptionist. No, actually, you know what? Let's go with the cuckoo lady. What's going on here? 
Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. Aha! I was correct. Uh, also, there's certain supplies here. Ooh, medical capacity. I do have some. Ooh, Peruvian whiskey. Whiskey. Are we gonna have a little chat with Chakwas? Because if we are, we're gonna have this ready. Um, but yeah, that that that's good. Let's take that one. I have the money now, and uh, we can keep going one more. I'll hold off on the uh, next level for now. That's good. And we also got some medigel uh, thing. And hello, Thane is right here. See, so yeah, I. It appears as to if the things that I was expecting when I was here the first time, it's actually now showing up, possibly. So, Thane, you are punching the window, apparently. Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Uh-huh. Such as what? Uh, well, I mean, how long do you actually have then? Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Well, that's fine then. Well, why don't you uh, join me and go out in blazing glory? I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. Well, I mean, fair enough. So, uh, are you in any sort of pain? Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Also, I do enjoy the fact that Shepard, while having a dress on, is sitting with her legs very, very wide. Lovely. Uh, good job. Well, okay, Thane, good, uh, good talking to you. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Cool, awesome. Let's have a bit of a bit of a poke around and see if we cannot find more things that people are talking about. Uh, you, I presume, we have already dealt with. Let's get in here. I don't know if any of these. Are, well, here we go. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for sorry use. Well, that's interesting. We are going there eventually. Uh, any one of you? I don't think that you're talking about anything. So it does feel as if the uh, Citadel has opened up a little bit more at the very least. So that's cool. Okay, then it's in there. Let's uh, have a bit of a poke around. Here we go. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. So, can I can I help? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Yes, <laughs> yes. So that is Ismar Frontier, that is a new system, or a new cluster. Can we help out with that? Probably not. Regular prosthetics aren't really my thing. And in here, 
No, nothing. Right, Caden, let's have a bit of a chat with you and see how you are doing. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. So he said, Peter said he asked if it was he who wanted the whiskey. And also, isn't it a little bit interesting? I mean, he's been here for quite some time right now. He's under medical care, but for some reason, he has dried up blood under his nose. Wouldn't someone have actually taken care of that? Apparently not. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled. So Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. And also, now, now that I see it, he's actually still dirty in his face. I, I, at first I thought it was just the bruises, but no, he's, he's got actual dirt on his face still. Won't someone just clean him up, bloody hell? So, what did you ask me here, then? You asked I'm here. Good to see you're okay. Thanks. Is that really the only reason you wanted me to come by? After Mars, and after doubting you. I just wanted to make sure that we're okay. Clear the air. Caden... We've been through rough missions together. Had each other's backs. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? Well, for now. You and me. We can butt heads. But for now, yeah. We're good. I'll take that. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Major. This war needs you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. No problem whatsoever. And there's some more repetition for me. Cool. So, we are gonna go and find... Uh, well, actually, let's go to the um, embassies first, because I would like to buy myself a new shotgun. So, coming up the stairs, let's ignore Bailey for now, we would like to go in here. I mean, I could have bought this on the ship, but uh, that extra 10% markup, there's no reason why we can just go here. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. So, Spectre Requisitions, I would like the Wraith, please. 75,000, I have that and more. Let's get that. Now, as for other weapons, I'm not entirely sure that I care enough. Uh, there is a Defender Armor, Weapon Damage Shield and Health. Could possibly be interesting, I don't know, but we ha have that. The Terminal, there's some stuff here. Military Partners for Normandy Engineers. Gabriel Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody of the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Connolly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Connectors and Reapers and had no other connections to the terrorist organization. Spectre Authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full partners and restate them aboard the Normandy. Absolutely, let's get them on board. Cool, so that's one of the things that you can do in here. And now we have the Wraith, and that is going to be something we have a bit of a look at in the next episode i believe but let's at least say that we have it now now john dumbau you seem like a person i could talk to commander shepherd john dumbau special tactics and recon i've got intel suggesting that high level hanar officials may be indoctrinated that's a damning accusation what have you got evidence of an alliance black ops team raiding a batarian research station the batarians were studying reaper technology the batarians had reaper technology the Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. 
But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. Ooh, well, that's cool. Kasumi, she's, uh, well, she's not back, but she's, she's in here somehow. Uh, so yeah, how bad could it be? I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You're sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So... Remember when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Well, do we have to do this right now? It is kind of cool that uh, she's here. But yeah, do we, do we really need to do this right now? I hope I can ignore that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> uh, I think we can return the... Um, was it the, an obelisk or something? Uh, who was it? Was talk wasn't it someone over here? Was it you, perhaps? Might have been you. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. All right, just another mission. Not exactly what I was going for, but sure, more stuff. Who was there? Was it you then? I think I there recovered we go. the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D24. Awesome. So we got that one, but then we have the obelisk, and we have. Ooh. Well, this is something I think has to do with the thing that we just picked up. So let's ignore that. I would like to go to the dock and see if we can not find Miranda. Shepard. There she is. Miranda. Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth... Well, you know what? We are getting back there at some point. I'm alright. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. We have to. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. 
For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. And I just want to, just want to say good luck with that. On this occasion, I am going to say, what can I do? What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. Well, okay. You know what? Fine. Tell me more. You will. Aha, uh -huh, so we can investigate a little bit. So, what's up with you and Cerberus? Have you left them? Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Alright, and uh, yeah, what about your father? What's up with that? Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Uh-huh. So, what have you been up to? It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. Aha, uh -huh, cool. So any leads uh, on Oriana here of the Citadel then, perhaps? If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. Okay, fair enough. I should probably go. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. And there we have it. And I think that that is right about enough for this episode. But I think that in the next episode we're going to start by... Well, continuing it on the Citadel, because a few more things have opened up. We have the Holding Bay, for example. I don't think we had that before. And, uh, yeah, there are a couple of things with the Hanor and stuff like that. We can probably do a little bit more Citadel stuff in the beginning of the next episode, and then we'll see exactly what we shall do. So that is coming up later. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.